ever feel like your iPhone is secretly plotting against you? Some settings are not as helpful as they seem and could be draining your battery, slowing you down or just making your phone work harder than it needs to. In today's video, I'll show you 5 iPhone settings you need to turn off right now and trust me, your phone and your sanity will thank yourself. Let's dive in and give your iPhone a little break. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. The first most important phone setting you need to turn off is under your privacy and settings. To do that, go to your settings on your iPhone and scroll down to privacy and security. Then, scroll down to analytics and improvements and make sure these options are checked off. So what happens if you select share iPhone analytics? It means that anything that you do with your phone, analytics data, for example, whatever you do on your phone will be sent to Apple. So on top of this, I will also turn off share iCloud analytics because this will mean that data will be sent from your phone to Apple to help improve its products and services. And for me, that is actually quite an intrusion on my privacy, so I will keep these two options turned off. The other setting that has to do with your privacy and security is Apple Advertising. Tap on Apple Advertising. Make sure this option is turned off, otherwise there will be personalized ads sent to you. This option that you check will mean that Apple is able to browse and track what you are surfing on the internet and your usage of your phone and then they will send you personalized ads. To me, that is actually quite a big intrusion of your privacy and then it actually, I'm not sure what other stuff that Apple does on your phone, but the best thing to do is to turn off this option right now. The next option that you might want to turn off right now is under privacy and security and then location services. As you can see, my location services are turned off right now, but if your location service is checked on, there will be other apps that in your phone that will be sharing your location. So for example, if you have social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, and you allow sharing of location, which means that these apps will be able to track your location where you are using the phone or even when you are posting your social media or when you are taking photos using the app. For me, that is also a big intrusion of privacy and I do not want that turned on. The only app that I would think you want to turn on is your maps, your Google Maps or your Apple Maps. And then you also have that option when using the app. So you can choose to share your location only when using the app. That means that when you are not using the app and it is off, these apps will not be able to track your location. And right at the bottom, you can see there's an option called System Services. You can see a little arrow icon at the side of your app. And then the purple icon actually shows you which are the location services that you have used recently. So as you can see for this phone, all of it are grayed out except for Find My Phone, which means that I have used the Find My Phone service recently. So you want to check which app has been using your location services, you can actually go to System Services and take note of the purple arrow icon. The next option that you want to turn off is preventing cross-site tracking, which means that you are using certain web browser and then Apple takes the data and feeds it to its advertisers. To do that, go to your settings and then scroll down until you see the options apps. If you use web browsers like Google Chrome or Safari, go to the web browser. For myself, I use Safari. So when I go to Safari, you see a lot of different options here. What you want to do is scroll down to the end until you see privacy and security. So under this section, you can see that I have checked on prevent cross-site tracking, which I mentioned earlier. So for example, if you are looking for a new set of speakers, for example, if you Google, you just want to see certain models of certain speakers, for example, uh, a Bose speaker or an Apple speaker. And then if you check this option on, it will ensure that it does not allow advertisers, for example, Bose or Amazon to send you specific advertisements to target you and try to sell you their speakers. So that's prevent cross-site tracking. 
So you can also hide your IP address from trackers or you can turn it off and allow IP tracking of your phone when you're using your web browser, which is not so secure. Then you have the fraudulent website warning. And then of course, uh, it's good to turn on all these options to make sure that advertisers do not track your web browsing history based on your cookies and cache and then sends targeted advertisements to you. So the next option that you want to turn off right now is for battery. As we all know, iPhone's battery has always been very suspect, meaning to say that after probably one or two years of using, the battery just runs out flat. Or even for a brand new phone and you are fully charged, you bring it out and then just half the day later, your battery is less to 50%, less than 50%. So how do you check on this? Go to your settings and then scroll down to general. Then scroll down to background app refresh. Here you can see that these apps are actually refreshing at the background when even if you are not using them. So these apps cumulatively over time during the day, it refreshes the apps automatically and slowly it takes away a lot of your battery life. So to turn this option on, tap on background app refresh and then you may want to turn it off so it does not refresh automatically. Although it says that it allows apps to refresh the content when on Wi-Fi or you can choose to be on mobile content, you might want to turn these options off because at the background when they do the refresh, you are actually draining your battery life. The last option that you might want to turn off is the fetching of your mail. So similar to the previous option, if you have this option set on, it will automatically refresh and try to fetch your new email, for example, your Gmail, your Yahoo, your Hotmail, automatically, and that takes up a lot of battery life as well. So how do you change this? Go to your settings, and then scroll down to apps. Then go to your mail options under mail, and then you can see under mail accounts, you have the option of fetch new data. As you can see, it's being set to push right now, which means that automatically new data will be pushed to your iPhone from your mail server when possible. That means that if you have new emails coming in, they will be pushed to your email. So for me, my emails are not that urgent, which means that because I'm on my home computer, a lot of the time, I don't need the emails to be pushed to my handphone when I'm outside because this takes up a lot of battery life as well. So you have the option to turn this off and then you can fetch your mail either manually, hourly or every 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So if you set it to manually, the mail will not be pushed to you. They will not be refreshing it at the background. And then if you want to check for your new mail, you can actually go to your mail and fetch it manually. I hope today's video was easy to understand and do leave a comment below if this video helped in any way. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye-bye.